Hi and welcome to this Landworks CAD tutorial. My name is Cedra and today I'm going to show you how to insert planes in complex areas. So I'm going to begin with an overview of planes. So we can insert planes hatching or hatch patterns by using this option here that is called the planes. So if I click this option, I will be able to see these three options that can be used to insert the planes. Now I'm going to show you one by one how to use these three options. I'm going to select a simple area, for example, this square shaped area here. And I'll start by using this option that says plane by interior. We are going to use this option when we have a boundary and we need to insert the plane inside a boundary. This plane is only going to be inserted in the boundary if all the entities in the boundary are connected together. So I'm going to select this option here and I'm going to follow the prompt that says locate the interior of the polygon to fill. So I'm going to click inside this boundary and as you can see the plane has been inserted. So I will just right click and click on the plane, press on the delete key on my keyboard. Now let's imagine that I want to insert the plane outside the circle and I don't want the plane to be inserted inside the circle. For that, I'm going to use this option that says plane by boundary. So before clicking on this option, we need to select the boundaries. So I'm going to select the boundary one by one here. I'll press the control key on my keyboard and I'm selecting the boundary here. and the circle as well. And now if I click this option, the plane will be inserted outside the circle. So this is another way of inserting a plane. I'll just right click and select the plane, press the delete key on the keyboard and I'm going to use the third option that says plane by vertex points. Now if I click this option, the prompt says locate the first plane boundary point. So by using this option, I'm going to snap on the points in the boundary and that is how I will be able to insert the plane. So as I see the square, I'm just going to click. I can see the square, so I'm just going to click again, square again and click and now I'm going to right click and my plane has been inserted. So these are the three ways in which I can insert the planes. I can also right click on any of these three options to see the plane options here and I can change the kind of plane that I am going to insert by using these options. I'm just going to press OK now and right click, click on the plane and press the delete key on the keyboard. Now I'm going to show you how to insert planes in a complex shape or irregularly shaped object. Now I'm going to look for something complex in the drawing to insert the plane inside that area. For example, I can insert the plane inside this complex area so I'm going to select this option here and it says locate the interior of the polygon to fill. If I click here, this dialog box appears that says a plane could not be traced. It means that all the entities that are forming the boundary of the plane are not connected together. Now I have to break up this circle and I might have to change some other bits and pieces as well. So instead of doing all that, the easier way of inserting a plane in a complex area would be to copy the boundary outside of the drawing, insert the plane outside the drawing and then copy it back into your drawing. So we can do this within the same file. I will just select this area and I'm going to press Ctrl C on my keyboard to copy this area. Now the prompt says select the position to use as the origin of the entities. So I'm going to select this position here, click and now I will press Control V or go to edit and click on paste and I'm going to go outside the drawing and click anywhere outside the drawing to copy the boundary. I'm going to start cleaning up the entities that we don't need. So in order to do that, I can use a magic eraser. So I'll press the Alt key on my keyboard and the left mouse button and I'll start cleaning up the drawing. As you can see that I can just completely erase the parts that I don't need here by using the magic eraser and the rest of the parts I can just select and press the delete key on my keyboard. So I'm going to select these, press the delete key on the keyboard. Also, I'm going to erase these press the delete key on my keyboard and I can just erase this little bit as well. Now I have the boundary 
in which I want to insert the plane. Now I just need to make sure that all the entities included in this boundary are connected together. So I'll start with this line here. Now I'm just going to move it a little bit and then move it back. As the cursor shows a square, I will just leave the mouse and that is how these two lines will get connected together. Also, I'll just connect these two lines as well. So square and then I'll leave the mouse. I'll do the same with the rest of the drawing as well. As this is a curve so I'll just make sure that the end of this curve is joining this line also I'll just make sure that this line is joining this arc over here and same with this one and same with this last bit and now I'm pretty sure that all the entities that are making the boundary are connected together so I'm just going to click on planes and select this third option that says plane by interior and click and see the plane has been inserted. Now I just need to copy this plane back into the drawing so I will select this plane here and I'm going to go to edit and click on copy select the plane from here and now you can just go back here press ctrl V or select paste from here and then click here. So this is how you can insert a plane in a complex or irregularly shaped area I hope that this video helped you in understanding how to insert planes in complex areas. If you like the video, please hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel. I will be waiting for your comments. Thank you for watching my video. Have a great day.